A lot of people are talking about how it's going to be really difficult to track some of this data and follow it because it's backward looking. So what are you looking for for that forward looking indicator? Is it the senior loan officer opinion survey that we get out at two? Is it some of the ISM surveys that we get later in the week? Well, Lisa, you know, I think my favorite near term indicator, you know, where we're going to be over the next six, say, six, nine months is actually consumer confidence. Uh, you know, the, the conference board measure in particular, I find uh, useful. You know, at the end of the day, particularly in the context of this debate, recession, no recession, because at the end of the day, a recession is a loss of faith. You know, consumers lose faith that they're going to hold on to their job and they pack it in, stop spending. And, and uh, of course, businesses lose faith that they can sell whatever it is that they produce and they start laying off. We get into this kind of self-reinforcing cycle. And historically, when confidence starts to move south in a big way, in a consistent way, not too soon thereafter, we go into recession. But as you know, we got some data points last week uh, from uh, the conference board and the University of Michigan survey, and they, they all look pretty good. I mean, in fact, confidence improved. So, you know, uh, hard to say what the world looks like a year from now, but I, I think I can state with a high level of confidence through the end of this year, we're going to remain recession free. If that's the case, then what does that say about the ability for the Central Bank of the United States, the Federal Reserve, to really affect some sort of change in the economic condition? In other words, are we looking at a U.S. economy that's pretty insensitive to interest rate increases and maybe actually have a much higher terminal rate? because it can keep chugging along regardless of the fastest rate hiking cycle going back some 40 years. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. I mean, uh, inflate, the key here is inflation, and inflation's coming in uh, in a pretty <clears throat> graceful way. I mean, uh, and, and all the trend lines look pretty good. I mean, I forecast lots of things. Some of, the, of those things I feel very confident in, some not so much. This I feel very confident in. I think inflation is going to come in. We know vehicle prices are going to decline. We know the cost of the growth in the cost of housing services is going to slow. We know electricity prices are going to come in. So I think inflation <clears throat> is coming in here pretty nicely to the degree that the Federal Reserve doesn't have to do anything. They've done all they need to do. We're at the terminal rate. We're good. Money good. So I, I just mm -hmm. leave things alone and let it uh, let the economy, you know, do its thing, and I think we'll be fine.